Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman. Today we got real Team Rider and original real Grom because we've had a lot of Groms around here. This is the OG Grom. Kai Wesco, Kai, welcome. And we are talking about the JS Zero Gravity. So JS revamped their line uh, last year, put a bunch of new models out. And for those of you that got kind of lost in the blur, uh, the Sub-Zero is for the small waves. The Zero is kind of like your all-arounder. And then the zero gravity is your high performance all around her. And that's what Kai is going to be reviewing today. Uh, Kai, what's your height and weight? I'm 5'11 by 170. Okay. And what are the dimensions on the board that you chose? And yeah. this is just an off the rack uh, so zero off the gravity. Rack. 5'8 by 18, three quarters, two and five sixteenths, 26.3 liters. And this is standard uh, PU poly, yeah? PU poly, yeah. Okay. So not high fine this one, standard PU. And so um, let's talk about the performance on this board and kind of the range of surf that it worked uh, for you. Yeah, so like in my part of the quiver, I, I just grabbed this kind of like, you know, not a growler, but an everyday board. Yep. Not necessarily a good wave board, but and of all the days I've ridden it, I've ridden it in pretty bad waves all the way to, you know, really kind of pumping waves and it just, it works really good. Just kind of works on everything, yeah? Yeah. And so yeah. what do you have, like just for reference, because I remember you came in, like revamped your quiver, like what's your new quiver right now? Like kind of what's below this and mm -hmm. above it and that sort of thing? Yeah, so my just terrible wave board, gravel board is RNF 96. Okay. That's just bad. And then this is like, this is just the everyday board. This is- So this is one up from yeah. your RNF and then you got a potato launcher for when it's for when, for, it's yeah, for when it's pumping. Okay. What is the like the small range of surf that you're finding this board to work in? I feel like it's you know perfect day. It's just kind of like anywhere in the chest high range. But I mean, you could use it as a gravel, or you could use it as a good wave board. It's just I don't know. They're doing something right with it. Just works. That's what That's I've always found. Like works, dude. when you find a good performance shortboard, it kind of just almost works in anything, you know? Yeah, and and kind of the cool thing about this is like. Kind of like my first couple surfs, I was like relearning how to surf. So I kind of needed like a forgiving board. Right. You know, it was kind of, it was a curveball at first for sure. And then I just kind of progressed with the board. And it's not a board where you ride it every other day. And mm -hmm. one day it feels like a different board. It's just, you can get up on it and you can trust it. Yes. That's, that's what, like, what you look for in a good board, I feel like. And so chest high is like kind of the sweet spot. What's the smallest waves that you've liked it in? Like, um, like waist high? I think okay. I'd start riding it, like, stomach waist high. Okay. But then, just the other day, kind of got some of my, like, better waves since I've been back surfing. Like, it was, like, head high, maybe a foot overhead. And hollow, too. Hollow. Yeah, yeah. so not head high mushy. Yeah, not head high mushy. Um, and it was working well in that also? Yeah, it worked really good. Really, okay. really surprised me. I, like... All right, so let's talk about that better day. Like, you know, head high, barreling. Uh, like, how, how's this thing, like, on steep drops and, like, at speed and... Any, like, any, like, do you ever feel like you needed more performance or more rocker or more anything or just feel good? No, I mean, like, that day I kind of checked it and it was a little bit smaller in the morning. And I was like, it'd be a perfect day for that. Yeah. Kind of like looked at, like, chest high and then I showed back up. I put my suit on and showed back up and it kind of got a little bigger. I was like, I could probably ride my barrel board right now. No, but the good wave I got, it was like, even just someone told me like it looked like when I dropped into it I had like no speed and I just it's kind of like my first legit foam ball ride I've had since I've been back surfing and it just it felt perfect and I even had some other waves you know I don't think I made them but just like perfect navigation on the foam ball and I feel like that's pretty hard to do with a board especially like a an all-arounder board right, like that. right. What are you using uh, for fins on this thing? I'm using John Johns or the uh, largest. I've, I've never really ridden features. Okay. The the fins I I was riding in at first were the the Mayhem's. Yep. They're mediums and it felt good, but I was like I'm getting kind of bigger, so right. I'm gonna throw in some larges and thank God I did. It feels so much better. So much with, better. Yeah. And so where would you? Because uh, that's something that we're always trying to like get people to do is like switch fins up. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like uh -huh. especially if you're like. Ah, this board's kind of good. Like, where were you on, like, this board's kind of, like, on the scale, like, one to ten. Like, one is a dud, and ten's magic. Like, kind of, where were you when you had the, the Mayhems in it? I think with the Mayhems, I, it was still, like, a, like a seven board. Yeah. 
But but then it jumped up to a what when you put the John Johns? Eight five up to eight nine. Five? I might even go nine. Okay, nine. So that there you go. I mean it's a noticeable difference for just turning three screws and switching them out, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Awesome. We've talked a little bit about small waves, we've talked about bigger waves. Uh what are you up to now? Like you just you're coming in, like you're kind of revamping your quiver a little bit, and you're mm -hmm. going on a trip to where? Is your next I'm about? going to Panama. Okay, how long are you going down there for? Just shy of like three weeks. Okay. And uh, where are you going to be surfing when you're there? Or can you say where you're going to be surfing? I don't, when know, you're there? I don't know if I should say it. Yeah? <laughs> you're going to be surfing in the ocean? Yeah, for sure. Okay. No, Caribbean. And the, uh, oh, the Caribbean. The Caribbean sea. Okay. <laughs> and the, uh, well, that's a, I think that's a, it's a sea. Yeah, sea. We're going to be surfing in the sea. <laughs> uh, is this board going with you? This board is definitely going to live me for sure. Awesome, man. That's good. That's good. Well, I mean, that's a good. Well, I almost dropped it. We dropped it twice. That's a good sign that uh, that you're liking it. If you're yeah. if you're gonna take it on a trip, so awesome. Uh, what about? Let's talk a little bit about. Obviously, it works at your level. Mm -hmm. uh, what about like kind of going lower in ability levels? Like, could you see like a intermediate, lower intermediate, like somebody that's like on shore boards, yeah, yeah. ride this thing and, and liking it, or is it too much for a surfer like that? No, I mean, by by the outline, you kind of see it's. I mean, it's not like a super like wide board, mm -hmm. but really, like when I first started riding it, I was like definitely the lowest, like skillfully I've surfed in a very long time. And I was kind of like relearning how to surf. Honestly, it felt like that. And this and it, helped you. Yeah, it was just super forgiving. That's actually really good feedback. Yeah. I mean, for a lot of people that are just getting into uh, like riding a shortboard for the first yeah. time, or like uh -huh. you know they might have had a fish or like some sort of egg or something like that, and then they're coming onto a shortboard. Yeah. So this thing is still within I'd, the range that they could. That's a great perfect get on and for go. It. Cool, awesome. Well, Kai, thank you so much for the uh, for the feedback. Have a good time in yeah. uh, Panama. And if any of you out there have any questions on the JS zero gravity or any of the other boards JS makes or would like to order one either stock or custom you can always reach us at the shop 252-987-6000 or look us up online realwatersports.com forward slash surfing thanks for tuning in